All right, guys, so we're going with the, another video. Shout out to the whole LDBC. And make sure you guys join the channel, join the website, and download the LDBC app. So in this video, man, um, I want to talk about Teofimo Lopez. He's been in the headlines as of late and you know he's been saying that he wants the big fights he's been saying that these guys cannot mess with him that these um the likes of Javante Davis the likes of uh Ryan Garcia the likes of Devin uh Haney cannot really mess with him um and my response to that is um you know, the proof is in the pudding, and, you know, the only way for the bluff to be called is if, you know, he actually gets the opportunity to fight these guys. Now, I kind of question it a little bit due to the simple fact that, um, you know, Devin Haney G checked him, and... I was just wondering, like, why wasn't the same energy there when Devin Haney was around? You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, exert that same energy when the guy is in front of your face. But he said that he was just trying to be respectful and that he really wanted to smack him, however. But, um, I don't know how believable that is. You know, because if if you said those things, like, if, if you said those things that Devin Haney said, like, I mean, Devin Haney said, you know, I go to the network directly, you only see one, um, you only see one pot, basically, with your fights, while I see more than one, and, I mean, he just pretty much went in on him. Like he, like seriously, kind of G checked him, and Teofimo was just kind of in a way like a deer in headlights. And another thing that I was surprised at is that you know um, when they were talking about sparring, um, Teofimo he didn't say he stopped him this time around or made him cry or nothing like that but what he did say is that um he was running the whole time and not throwing punches so I don't know that's neither here nor there um but from the grapevine, though, I also heard that, you know, he sparred Tank and he was giving him that work. I'm not quite sure, but, you know, he has been to the Mayweather gym, so, you know, we only get a little of, of it. We don't know, like, the inner workings of everything, but, um, you know... We can only go by guesstimation, basically. I want to talk about something else, though. Um, he's been, like, really calling out Lomachenko. Um, he wants the belts, you know. He feels like he needs to get a belt. And... He's been calling out Lomachenko, you know, he's been saying, I don't see anything special, you know, he's on the decline, and he he only does the same movements, you know, that's what he said, and, you know, I will say I do agree with him, you know, in that regards, like, basically, if you're an athletic fighter with ring IQ, speed, and power and you're not intimidated by the the things people say about Lomachenko like the 396 and one 
or he made guys quit and stuff like that, then you'll beat him. He's honestly, he basically took an amateur boxing style and brought it to the pros. That's pretty much all he did. But if you have a professional style where you put it where everything is functioning together, speed, power, technique, and ring IQ, and the ability to shift levels, go to different gears, then you'll beat Momachenko. But at the end of the day, Momachenko has not fought anybody like that, you know. Um, the person who was closest to that was um, Rick and Dial, but again, he was moving up to weight classes and, you know, he was inactive for maybe like a long time before that anyway, so I can't really count him. So what I have to say about, about um, Teofimo Lopez is I think in order to get these fights, in order to get these fights with belts, he may have to go to a different promoter. Because the way I look at it is that Bob Arum, to be honest, I don't know if Teofimo Lopez is in Bob Arum's plans. You know, that's what I, that's what I'm, like thinking about right now because um, Bob Aaron you know he moves a different way and we know Bob Aaron is not one to fast track guys after, since after Floyd Mayweather because you know Floyd Mayweather got fast, fast track um, under Bob Aaron but he probably doesn't want to pull that anymore with certain fighters, you know. Because the way I look at it is, you know, if certain fighters like a Teofimo got fast tracked, you know, um, he would realize that, you know, hey, why am I still under this promoter when I can make more money doing my own thing? You know? And that's what would eventually happen and it would leave Bob Aaron bitter and you know the rest the rest is history you know his track record but I will say that like um with these new things coming out um I it, it a, a fight a fight with a like for example, another prospect, a fight with Devin Haney, a, a fight with like a, a Javanta or something like that would be a good fight. Like it would be like a mega, it, 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 it has the potential to do very, very well, you know. Um, the confidence is there with this guy, you know, and I will say that, you know, I give him respect for it. It's just a matter of, you know, really trying to get in there and, um, and show people if, like, show people your words, manifest your words into actions and show people that you're the real deal. Um, I mean, I, I think he has the, the tools. I mean, he has some athleticism. He has some power. He's defensive, pretty defensively responsible. And he has a style that, you know, I think is, um, is, is kind of versatile. So, yeah. But, um, I guess Lomachenko has came out and said that he would make him quit or something like that. I don't know if he actually said it, but, um, I really don't see that happening due to the simple fact that 
you know, um, it's just levels to it, you know, and he hasn't really fought anybody, like, with his kind of speed or power, you know, um, I mean, you can't say Gary Russell in terms of speed, but even he fought him in some questionable circumstances by messing with the scale, you know. So, you know, that that's what I will say about the whole thing, you know. Um, but leave your thoughts, leave your comments. Let's see what happens. Let's see if, if Bob Arum actually fast-tracks him and he gets to fight um, these guys. Off to the next one, guys.